Welcome to this Your Morning Newscast for today, September 28th, 2020. Good morning to all those persons joining us via our Facebook page, Kaicho Radio. Let's get to the news in details. Upon noting the fact that the People's Progressive Party Civic is just mere days away from signing off on Exxon Third Well Project in the Starbuck Block called Payara, International Petroleum Consultant Dr. Yan Mangal posits that one can clearly conclude that the current regime is executing actions that will leave Guyana as a banana republic. The former presidential advisor noted that most Guyanese politicians seem either self-interested, completely mediocre, or a dangerous combination of both, while adding that the vice president, Dr. Barrett Jagu, and his party seem to be doing their utmost to keep Guyana a banana republic, a country which has no self-respect and accept crumbs from its own jewels. 6.5 million US dollars or 4% of the 150 million US dollar Chetty Jagger International Airport expansion will see the project getting more value for the money in executing additional works in what supposed to be the regional transit hub. This and all the details of the airport were shared by Minister of Public Works One Edgel during his presentation to the Parliamentary Committee of Supply during the consideration of the budget estimates and during an interview with Kaitra News last week. Edgil had reported that an assessment of the airport and revives contract revealed that there have been a significant reduction in scope of works from that in its original 138 million US dollar contract signed before May 2015. Initially, he had stated that the contract was reduced by 9,000 square meters to 4,046 by the former APNU AFC administration. However, the former Public Infrastructure Minister David Patterson had refuted Edgel's statement by revealing that it was the People's Progressive Party Civic in April of 2015 who had reduced the airport's scope of works. Notwithstanding these conflicting stories, Edgel indicated to this new SCAS that the remaining 4,954 square meters would be constructed throughout the allocation of 6.5 million US dollars. These additional works should lead to the materialization of a new terminal with eight bridges, extended runways, along with power generation and fuel storage facilities and, other spa and office spaces, Edgel said. When asked to comment on the recent protests conducted by frontline workers for improved wages, risk allowances and better protective gears, President Irfan Ali told the press that he believes that the circumstances of those frontline workers are being exploited. Ali's comment follows hundreds of nurses and other frontline workers from the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, the West Demerara Regional Hospital, and the Linden Hospital Complex stage protests for better salaries, working conditions, and even risk allowances last week. Carrying placards and chanting no increase in allowance, no work period, and we demand risk allowances, these frontline workers believe that there requires a more than reasonable particularly considering that the COVID-19 virus has so far infected more than 2,500 Guyanese and have taken the lives of 78. We tell you now that a 21-year-old resident of Henrietta Village, Essequibo Coast, is the country's latest road fatality, bringing this year's total to 119 road deaths, a 42% increase compared to the same period from last year. According to reports, Kyle McNichol was driving along the Lima Public Road at around 17 hours 30 last evening when he crashed into a park counter. The father of one, known to friends as El Chapo, reportedly died on the spot. The vehicle was so damaged that his body had to remain inside until firefighters arrived with specialized equipment to remove him. And finally, at this time for your morning newscast, a 85-year-old woman on Saturday last sustained a fractured hip and a left arm after she survived a car accident along the Lagrange West Bank Demerara Public Road. Currently hospitalized and recovering from her injuries is Lachmini Bisnot of Independent Street Lagrange. According to police reports, the serious accident took place at around 50 down 55. Investigators were told that Bisnot was attempting to cross the public road when she was struck down by a speeding motor car. It was further detailed that the 38-year-old driver was heading in the southern direction on the eastern side of the road. The man claimed that while Miss Knott was trying to cross over from the western side of the road, she ran into the path of the vehicle. 
He continued that he applied brakes but could not avoid colliding with the woman. Miss Snot, according to reports, were thrown a short distance away and fell on the paved surface of the road. The woman was then picked up immediately by the said driver and rushed to the West Demerara Regional Hospital where she was admitted and treated for the injuries she sustained. Doctors have since reported to the police that Bisnot is in a serious but stable condition. The driver was subsequently arrested and taken into police custody. And with that, we've come to the end of your morning newscast right here on Kaiju Radio. Let's remind you that you can get the full details of these stories and much more by picking up a copy of the Kaiju News at a newsstand near you or head across to our website at kaijunewsonline.com. I'm Joshua Van Sleckman. Thank you for joining us.